What's up guys? Welcome back to Let's Learn England EU4. Let's uh, jump right in, pick up where we left off. Uh, where are we? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Actually, I uh, took a took a few minutes to uh, uh, before I started recording to uh, get myself familiar with where I was at, so I don't have to waste so much time doing that at the beginning of every episode. Uh, looks like we got a spy network available in Scotland. We hit 20, so let's get a claim going there on Lothian. And Thomond. Thomond should hit next month as well. Got a free diplomat. Where are we diplomatically? Ulster, Portugal. Definitely want to be improving with Ulster. While we're in uh, peacetime here, let's do a couple of things. Let's get it... Uh, wait a minute. Let's do this first. Let's use one of our great power uh, influences here. We'll get uh, 25 for 10 years. Bump up their monarch power category and administration. Gain five trust. It'll only cost us 10 ducats to do that. That is cheap as hell. We're gonna go ahead and do that. That gives us a nice little bump. And do we have to wait to improve relations? Yeah. Have to wait till next month. But Portugal. Allied with Castile. We've been, uh. Really? Say so we've kind of been ignoring Portugal a little bit here. Let's get their, uh. Let's get their, uh, happiness with this up. Um, Castile, yeah. Who's Castile fighting? Oh, rebels. Yeah, they'll be fine. Castile is quite powerful now. How to say, is Hungary still allied with Austria, Florence, Bosnia? How's Poland doing? Still allied with Brandenburg. They seem to be doing okay. Uh, can we... November 10th. There we go. So we got those two working. We can fabricate our claim in Thelmond. Let's bring him back. I won't be going to war anytime soon. Manpower is still really low. We have that national decision for getting our manpower back up to 90%. We're going to gonna go ahead and try and do that. We might as well uh, improve relations with the Papacy while we're waiting. Dumping a little bit of money into army maintenance, just trying to build these guys back up to their full strength. Men are 10 men. Yeah, nice and slow. Still making some money. What can we do here? can we do what can we do let's 
can build a marketplace. Local trade power plus 50%. That costs 100 ducats. Let's go ahead and plop one of those down right here in uh, London. Why not? Takes 12 months to build. Still got that black flag. I, I think I did when I did a, a consolidation there. I left a zero. A zero uh, regiment up there. And it's just... Well, when we get up into Scotland, we'll uh, cover that. Hopefully, we can... Uh, once we take that province, we can at least build that enough to disband it or something. Because that's just sort of annoying. How's our stability? Linster. Still. The revolt time just keeps going up. Um, if I remember correctly, we gave them to the clergy last episode. So that's pretty good. And that's because of our uh, overextension with Ayrshire, which I really haven't gotten uh, an answer yet as far as whether I want to core that or not. I don't think I want to because I want to vassalize Scotland, and I don't think I can give it back if it's one of my cores. I'm going to want to give it back because they, they really hate me, and once they vassalize me, that will help bring their opinion of me up a little bit but uh we'll see what happens so right now we're just gonna roll with that we got our last light ship right Baruch building in Essex yeah and that should put us yep that'll put us at our naval force limit so we'll have 19 uh, light ships working in our trade fleet all concentrated in the English Channel if I didn't have Scotland to worry about I'll tell you what I Clan Ricard just allied with Scotland interesting this Clan Ricard's also allied with Ulster I suppose it's not going to matter once I uh, complete vassalizing uh, Ulster. Am I going to be able to do it? Am I going to have the... We can get another 48 more. So... Ooh. Interesting. Well, we may have to do a little finagling to get that to uh, 190. Of course, our aggressive expansion will be uh, decreasing yearly. That claim is kind of hurting us. Can you get rid of claims? England has a claim on this province. It's valid until 1474. Damn. For the past couple of days, we've been entertaining a guest from the royal court of Castile, the once home of the prince consort. After a full week of hunting, feasting, and gossiping with the family, Enrique's cousin is finally preparing to return to Toledo. She assures us that she has had a wonderful time, and is with, and it is with a deep bow of gratitude that she says she'll make certain to inform everybody back home about how kind the great king. Kingdom of England has been to her and continues to be her beloved cousin. Awesome. Gained 10 diplomatic power. Castile's opinion of England changed by plus 50. Always good. Castile loves us. Want to stay in their good graces. They, uh, they will be a big help when it comes time to uh, attack France. Who's France allied up with now? 
France has one ally, Genoa. I think that's down by Naples, isn't it? Genoa, Genoa, Genoa. Small power. Yeah. Not too scary there, France. Looks like all your friends have gone. I'll tell you what pisses me off, though, that I would love to deal with is, uh... Friggin' Burgundy with Brabant and, uh, Flanders all doing their little embargoes on us. They're next to my hit list, I think. Number of France, I... <sighs> I haven't decided yet, but I just hate Burgundy. I, I don't know what it is about them. They piss me off. I guess we'll decide once we get there. Eight point six two ducats a month. Not bad. I'm wondering if we should, uh, nah, we're going to wait. We are going to wait. We're going to tech up one more time in all of our categories and then, uh, start doing some, um, provincial improvements. Manpower, etc. Speaking of which, where are we on this? I might actually build up to our force limit. Yeah. Slowly. We can build nine more infantry, or we can build nine more units total. I think we will uh, go ahead and let's see. Let's do one here, one here, one here. And what did I have for uh, I have four of those. Yeah, that's... God, they're so expensive, though. I think I'm just going to stick with those four that I have. And I'm actually going to... Oh, it's going to take a massive manpower hit if I do that. France just teamed up with Savoy now. Weren't they right next to, uh... Ooh. Savoy is... Okay. Alright, Savoy's, uh... Got some strength, probably got a navy. So France is building up some friends down here. I don't like that, but what are you gonna do? Who's Brittany uh, friends with? The Palinate. Over here somewhere in the HRE. Oh, John Capgrave died. That is a shame. Yearly prestige plus one. Absolutely. Absolutely. John Capgrave. Good man. Had him around for a long time. Um, I think actually, yeah, let's... Let's tick up a little bit here. 
One of the cardinals in England has proven to be a skilled administrator and already provides useful advice to the queen at this point, making him a minister and our government almost would almost be only a formality, but an important formality nonetheless, since he may grow more powerful yet. Having a cardinal in our service would certainly lend its credibility with the Pope and strengthen the sentiment, sentiment that England is a Catholic nation first and foremost. We are Catholic. We are staying Catholic. Screw the Reformation. Uh, he's eight as well, so let the formality over with. Clergy estate gains five influence, currently 48%. England gets cardinal administration till 1476, giving the follow following effects. Plus one, missionary strength, tolerance of the true faith, yearly papal influence, or gain 10 prestige. I think in the long run, stability cost modifier, tolerance of heretics minus two. Why not? How many can London support? 35 now. Nice. Looks like those are almost done reinforcing. Oh, Scotland's got rebels. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Uh, I wonder if they had an event or somebody's been... Uh, running some influence on them to create that that is not good for that is a 17 stack poor scotland they are in trouble if uh if uh, if i wasn't under this manpower mission right now i would be Taking this opportunity to attack. That is great. That is just going to bleed their manpower dry. Uh, hunt down the privateers that harm your trade. Jeez, how many how many do we have now against... Uh... We have Reconquest. We have Humiliate. We have Excommunicative Ruler. And... Trade protection. So many reasons to go to war with France. Let's, uh, Twenty-four. Oh yay! Awesome. All right. Okay. Four, four, and four. I think we can build uh, temples now. Check that out. We can. That's a hundred. Let's dump that into London. Because why not? Oh my god, these rebels are kicking the shit out of Scotland. I'm almost kind of. don't are they gonna take out the whole uh, they're gonna siege down Lothan I don't think Scotland even has the army to uh, to take them out there might be a government change going on here I 
I think we'll go ahead and uh, let's see, 6K. Who are you allied with, Belmond? You ain't allied with anybody. Yay! We uh, passed uh, the quartering of troops. So land maintenance modifier minus 10%, land attrition minus 5%. Excellent. So we'll be on the lookout for our next debate. I think that uh, we will unlock all these for a little bit, and I'm going to send... Ten K troops. Actually, twelve. Oh no! Oh God, we lost Richard. What? Jesus, what's going on? Providence modifier has expired. Kent, Oxfordshire. Okay, okay, okay. Flanders have embraced the Renaissance. We are going to check that out real quick. That is such a shame that we lost Richard. Let's move that army up here. We're going to stick them in pale. 22, 23, 27. I would love to actually build a fort here. That's such a nice central location. It's 200 ducats, though. Poor Richard. Oh, my God. We have no leaders now. Please, Belmond. I don't know who they're trying to fool. Who they're trying to fool. Thought I attack what? Thought I attached them. Come on. Oh, I actually don't need to anymore. I didn't need to mon moth all these guys. Let's not spend that money. Queen Margaret is now be benevolent when ruling England. It will give us liberty to desire and subjects minus 5%. Awesome. Yeah, we have a, a, a land bridge now. Now that we can now that we control Ayrshire. So we can just move them over there on foot. Supply one at 17. Actually, we're going to stick them right there in Kings County. Thomond. Just to check here. See if they've got a namey. Three light ships. And we don't know where they're located. Yeah, we do. They're right there. Yeah, they're out doing some trading. No big deal. Is everybody back up to full strength? Appears so. Oh, that one's going to expire. It doesn't matter anyway, though, because we already have a a, uh, a claim on Thelmon, so. Uh, let's go ahead and drop our army maintenance down. 
save some monies now that we've uh, fully reinforced. Corruption. Still got that. Let's get this down to zero. And then maintain it. I don't like the uh, I don't like the uh, the penalties conquered province from Scotland humiliated Scotland fifth rank great power yay Diplo's going up. What are we going to get? Naval maintenance, trade efficiency, trade range. Okay, let's tech up. And... Let's see. Scotland's at 444. We are at 45 and then we'll be five. Let's go ahead and burn some of our administrative power. Lose 50 administrative. Burger Estate gains 10, gains 10 loyalty. Lose 50 diplomatic power of the Burger Estate loses 10 loyalty. Okay, well, if we're gonna lose 50 anyway, Oh, lose 50 diplomatic power. No, we don't have it. Okay. That's not... I'm not too happy about that, but... That did give us some more trade efficiency because we're, we're jacked up to 63% now. Got to be careful here, though. Burgers are getting close to that 80%. Um, Scotland is just trying to hold on. These rebels are doing... A heck of a job for us. <laughs> uh, what was the other thing I was going to do? Um, yeah, let's see what we can improve here real quick. Development. Okay, we can't do any more improved relations with Ulster. We're at 181. We need we need nine more points to go for a vassalization. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and 55. Yeah, let's dump a little dump dump a little into uh, London. Why not? Uh, Ulster, what can we do, man? 181. We have military access, royal marriage, and an alliance. Can we do anything diplomatically? A gift, maybe? Do the military axis? Well, that. Oh, there we go. It just put us over. I hope that. We need to wait for July 15th, 19 or 1458. Come on. Please don't. Oh my god. Holland, fuck off. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Boom. 
All right, let's check this out. Ulster. Is now a vassal. We're going to get money from them every month. They got eight ships and 6,000 men. Now I need to... What do I need to do? To annex. So I have to keep them for 10 years. We won't be able to uh, annex them till 1468. It's going to cost us 152 diplomatic power um, based on their development costs. That's kind of why I was talking about not wanting to uh, not wanting to give them Tyrone because it would only cost more when I went to uh, annex them. But Ulster's been our buddy. They've been uh, behind us the whole way. They've helped us over here in Ireland. Um, so, yeah. Good, 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 good. Alliance breaking. Oh. Well, yeah. I mean, it's not an alliance anymore as uh, they are now our vassal. Manpower is going up 245 each month. So that's good. I mean, it's it's okay. I really wish I wouldn't have taken that national decision. I don't have to, you know, obey it. But, uh... Oh, no. F Frederick Hebs... Friedrich the Third von Habsburg of Austria has died. Our royal marriage with Austria has ended. Leopold of Austria, and he, right off the bat, wants a marriage. Absolutely. Good stuff. Want to keep that relationship strong? Is that what all those events were? Because, man, I got a lot of uh, separatism. 18, 14, 15 years, 166 years. Oh. Oh, the damn Lollards again. Probably because of that. A 26 stack. Jesus. Probably due to that, uh, um, that decision I took with the uh, tolerance of the uh, those that aren't the true faith. Yeah, minus four tolerance of heretics. That's got the uh, that's got the Lollards in a. Uh, a bit of a tizzy we're getting close to a part here guys I know it's not uh, very exciting when you're in the rebuilding phases um, I think I might actually turn on a couple of forts here because I can afford it um, actually you know what I am going to build that fort here to exert control over almost all of Ireland. Ah, I don't need it right now. <laughs> okay, Portugal. All right, I got two open diplomats. I think I'm going to go ahead and turn on this fort here to get some uh, army tradition going, which we're 
for some show army tradition. Oh shit. S the Scottish rebels. Um, okay, they were just passing through. We're not actually fighting with them, so. They are on the move to take over all of Scotland. I don't know quite what's going to happen after they do that, but we're going to find out. Um, I love it when I try to end a video and I start getting pop-ups. Looks like Austria, the emperor has enacted an imperial reform. Call for Reich's, for Reich's reform. Construction costs, development costs. Nice. Gives Castus Belly on non members holding Imperial territory. That's going to be changing up what's going on over here right now. Now that that's gone through. Because I'm thinking some wars will probably be breaking out after that one. France is having some fun with the Lollards. Looks like they just smashed a stack. In Paris and I will probably be doing the same um, I think that I'm gonna recall my troops and there was one more thing I thought I wanted to do real quick before I end this um, I don't remember. I don't remember what it was. Oh, I think it was turning that fort on. Yeah, let's get the fort going there as well. And I'll probably actually leave them up um, to get military military tradition. That's what I was wanting to look at real quick. Where does it show what my military tradition is? Army tradition, 12.8. So we get a little bit with the uh, army tradition is important. Um, it adds morale to the armies, recovery speed, siege ability, um, and you get some free... Uh, army tradition by keeping your forts maintained so we're gonna call it recall these troops because of I think uh, we might have to deal with the, the Lollards which sucks but uh you know what are you gonna do especially since I lost uh, Richard well I'll also have to find something for our diplomats to do and I if I keep talking I'm just gonna keep rambling on uh, we'll call this apart thanks for watching guys as always uh, hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe if you feel like it, or simply just leave some comments. Um, my first playthrough here, so could use any advice or help, criticism, always warranted. Um, and I will see you in the next episode.